Brugatti, and welcome you guys here to Gaylord Aquaman Resort and Convention Center, and of course, the Delta River. Beginning our tour today by talking about the river here that we are cruising on. It is about a quarter of a mile long, two feet deep, has 450,000 gallons of water. When we originally built the river here back in 1996, we sent out 3,000 empty two ounce stacking those bottles all across the world. Ask people to fill them up from local rivers, lakes, other bodies of water, and send them back. We did get about 1,700 back. We got water from all the states as well as 30 other countries. Lining our river along the right hand side, there are plaques that name each body of water poured in here. Unfortunately, we lose the water in our flood back in May of 2010 that did leave us with water up to the bottom of the bridges here. We had closed down for about six months. When it reopened, we could ask you to send us water back again. So we also have separate signs to mark those as well. We have lots of plant life here, so we'll point out some unique plants and trees. We're going to start with two trees here on the left hand side. On each end of the fence, these are our tabletop black olive trees. This is the first time this type of tree was ever grown indoors before. They are now some of the largest out of those grown here in Tennessee. And even though olive is in their name, they actually don't produce any olive. You will see an impact up to the left there, our largest chandelier on the property. It weighs 3,000 pounds. It is about 10 feet tall. We do lower it down from the ceiling once a month to clean it, shine it, and change the light bulb. It does take our team about five hours to complete. In front of us here is areas of course from our convention center. We do have over 700,000 square feet of meeting and convention space. Up on the second level is the Delta Ballroom, the largest ballroom here that can seat 7,000. We do use the room not just for convention, but wedding receptions, high school prom, and other type of events as well. As we are turning here, we are going to have a white roof wall and windows in front of us here. This wall is one of the original outside walls to the property. First opening here back in 1977, we have one of the 600 rooms and one ballroom. That is what is now known as the Magnolia section. Then in 1983, we added on the Garden Conservatory, which added another 500 rooms, followed by the Cascades in 88, which added another 800. And then we finished with the Delta here in 96, which added over 1,000. We did start out with 600 rooms. We're now on a total of 2,888. Along the right hand side here, one of our fruit trees which includes papaya, pineapple guava, lemon, lime, kumquat, and grapefruit trees. We do have a wonderful team here that takes care of all of our plant life. We do have separate teams for outside and inside plants. Now normally that is a full team of 40 horticulturists with 20 inside and 20 outside. Right now we've only had about five of them, so it's only Two for inside, two for outside, and one going back and forth. They are definitely working extra hard right now. You will see them out about watering the plant life here. They do also feed the fish each morning. We do have blue and channel catfish, carp, bluegill, and koi. Now, of course, with all of our plant life here, we did have to have a ceiling style that was able to bring some sunshine. Here in the Delta Atrium, our ceiling is made of 6,200 panes of glass. Each individual pane weighs 250 pounds. They are about a half inch thick. Can withstand golf balls by the tail at 120 miles per hour wind. We are going underneath the highest point here that reaches 15 stories high. Directly below the highest point is the south area, which is here on the left hand side. We have 106 individual fountains that surround a central geyser that are reached about 85 feet. Our fountains are here on the evening at 7, 8, 9, and 10. We do have a couple different shows that will alternate throughout the evening. The 7 and the 9 are our brand new Halloween shows. Now we also use this area here on our left for our animal encounters. 
doors will be today at 1.30 and 3 o'clock. So you can just come sit on the steps down below over here. They do change out the animal at each show. And then on the right, you are going to see two of our paintings here, part of our music art tour. The question is by the artist Christopher Joseph Gonzalez. Questions between artists from several genres, as well as different musical instruments, and a couple of music city are included. All of them are available on the artist website. We are coming up to our waterfall stretch here. We have three waterfalls directly within the river. The do serve as part of our filtration system. So we to the river in about three hours. And it is the waterfall that's so really waiting for us to do so. Now they are not the tallest waterfalls here on the property. Those are the ones in the cash game section. So if you are able to walk behind, get into this spa, indoor pool, and on the fitness center. On our right, to our left hand side here, we have our banana palms. These produce smaller and sweeter aged bananas. They also have more potassium than the average banana. Our next one here, we are in Bordering, which is a band and tree. This is made to India. These things as a tree amplitude. It is believed that any wish land underneath it, that it will come true. It is a tree well known for how big you're able to get. There is one in Fort Myers, Florida, as well as one in Hawaii, which is why you entire city block. So they do get pretty big. We do have to make some cutbacks on it, but we do want to let it grow as much as we can. Up to the left, we do have that seating area there. If you want for more of a quick bite, we do have some options on the island. We do have Titanos, great quick pizza and wine. Danny and Speckles, Cardinal Ice Cream, Cinnabon. We do also have our Marketplace, which has a lot of your grab and go snack and drink options, as well as many options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. On the right, our brick building here is some more of our safety drugs as part of our collection there. This brick building house is the main elevator for the Delta. There's a very key six elevator on the map. Level one to the right will bring you to the Cascades, that is the main lobby area. Level 2 is going to bring you in front of the Old Hickory State House. Or the off-way end, you can go left to the garden, right to the Magnolia, or straight ahead into the sound wave. We do also talk about the boats themselves, as they are unique. We do have only five of them that have ever and will ever be named now. Fast track for Mark Twain, Miss Lee Flat, both we hold up normally, 24 people, and are powered by 16 car sized batteries. On the left here, our track ends in the boathouse that is about 6 feet deep in there. All of our boats have full steering, so a full track system really isn't necessary. We ended up adding two wheels to the bottom of each boat, so that's actually what will go into the track to guide us along the river. Once inside the boathouse, we do use the full steering. Up to the right, we're going to see some big, great, big grates in the walls here. Now, this is part of our system here to help with all of our plant life. Of course, with all of it here, we do have to keep set temperatures for each atrium. And it is all based on the plant life that are in each section. Here in the Delta, we do keep between 68 and 72 degrees, and that's all year. So it doesn't matter the time of year that you visit or the weather outside. We will keep the temperature the same throughout the year. Depending on the time of year that you visit, even though those temperatures may not be the same, our plant life will not. Our bigger trees, like the palm trees, will stick around for a lot longer. Our lower level plants, like those along the sidewalks, are switched out more often, with our biggest change being the holidays. So we bring bringing around 15,000 points of plants. Christmas is definitely our biggest time of year. We do start stringing our lights in July. With our bigger decor coming in in September, and our season kicking off around Veterans Day each November. Up on the island, we also have some shops as well, if you're going to do some shopping while you're with us. Most of our shops are available on the island and in the Magnolia section. Not all of them have fully reopened, and those in the Magnolia are currently only open on the weekends. So, of course, if you have questions or any suggestions about anything while you're visiting, do let us know how we can help. We are approaching back to our dock ahead, so you have any elbows or hands off the sides here. As we reach the dock, we are going to tie off the front section first, followed by the back. 
You will get the same set of stairs you came down on this exiting out to your right. And we are going to have those photos available for you to view there as you exit. Thank you all so much for joining us today. I hope you'll come out and see us again sometime again real soon. It's the home of the boats back there. Well, thanks for joining us today on our trip to the Gaylord Opryland Hotel. Tell us what you like best about this place. And I mean, come on, there's nothing you, you couldn't like about this place. And uh, just make sure you give us a like, subscribe to us, share this video with your friends, and hit that bell icon so you're notified about our future videos. Thanks for joining us today.